we're going to talk about uh, the new alcohol ink things, and there's actually quite a few of them. I think uh, it's hard to believe that alcohol inks have been out for almost 10 years, which is really, really crazy. Um, especially that I think I've kind of been there, done that with them. I mean, other than new colors, there's really not much else I thought that I would want in the world of alcohol inks until, oh. Start this up. Oh, there's my brush. What is that? This is just hand sanitizer, by the way. I'm trying to clean off that pigment. You can see that haze. Hand sanitizer is. That's a good one. Yeah. It's a long announcement. It's a good thing she caught me at a really good time right at the beginning, so I'm just going to start over. All right. So, the cool thing about the world of alcohol inks really is outside of new colors, Alcohol inks are just that. They're beautiful, translucent, solvent-based ink for non-porous surfaces. Gloss paper, UPO, glass, metal, plastic, and they have great reactive properties. So when the Chemist at Ranger uh, figured out this formulation of a new product, they did, they pitched it to me and they're like, we've got this thing, it's kind of weird, not sure if you're gonna like it, but we've been able to pearlize alcohol ink. And I'm like, dude, we already do that. We have pearl mixative, I've got that. He goes, no, 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 I think you're gonna be really uh, curious about this formulation. The alcohol pearls are, it's, and I think he was inspired by this, right? Once he kind of understood that dye and pigment thing, I think he's like, oh, hold on, we might be able to do this in the alcohol world, but a little differently. So this is actually a pearlized alcohol ink. When you shake this up, this pearl, this mica pearl, becomes bonded to the ink. It is not a mixative. It does not separate like a mixative. It is one with the color, all right? You can see at the bottom as I start to lay down these colors that each color of ink has its own color of pearl, right? So right away that's very different because our pearl mixative is just white, right? So when we use it, it's just gonna have kind of this white out. So let me bring out some swatches just so you can see. So for your B-roll when you're done, I would capture this because this shows distressed ink and archival differently when it's stamped. One wets, one doesn't. Let me get these guys out. Oh my, look at all that. Oh goodness, want to see Alright. So this is the swatch of alcohol pearls, and this is done on Yupo. You can have a swatch on any color you want, but Yupo is great for swatches because it's plastic. It won't kind of muck up. But what you're gonna see, and again, anybody that has their own camera, just kind of do it to where you get that wonderful pearlescent glean, is you can see that the color is actually pearlized all the way across. It's not a mixative that's gonna have this veining and marbleizing. You get this beautiful sheen of pearlescent finish. And right away, I knew that people would say, well, that's gonna be the same as pearl mixative. This is pearl mixative. So this is pearl mixative with a very similar color. And you can see that while the ink color is very similar, this one totally whites out when the light hits it because pearl mixative is a white pearl that sits on top. So when you look at it, you're like, oh, this is beautiful. And then you're like, oh, now it's a white out. So that's just an easy side by side to say that it's not the same. When I go to work with it though, I can do some really beautiful things with it. Let me just find my background. There's one of those. This is a background just of pearls. And I'm gonna take you through a few demo backgrounds of what to do with it. But I wanna pass this around because I want you to feel it. Because it's completely smooth like the paper. A pearl mixative that would have pigment that has a heavy concentration of pigment, we would feel where that pigment is. So I'm gonna just grab this tin. I don't think they have alcohol inks in the booth, but I'm really missing some key colors in my jam. Some key colors, all right. So I'm just gonna pull out, these are just regular alcohol inks that I'm pulling out because the same way I did the demo for oxide, I don't just like to use pearl. You can, that's what that sample is, but it's still the same thing. If everything is pearly, you don't really notice that little addition of <coughs> sparkle. That's just a preference. Hey Mario, can you see if they have any other colors of alcohol ink? I love wild plum if anybody has it. Because that's just a good one. Flamingo, eh, it's okay. Not for what I want. So when we're talking about mixative, this is what I was referring to for this sample. This is a pearl mixative. In the world of alcohol inks, the inks themselves are translucent dyes. Mixatives are just pigment in a liquid. So now we kind of have that fusion again. That's why I said I kind of feel he was inspired by this idea to do this. And I think that's great. These, my advice as a maker, because you have to shake these up, if you store them in the tin, 
just store your tin like this now, okay? Because I find that if you lay these on their sides, that mica, that pearl that's there, instead of it sitting on the bottom, will sit along the entire length of the bottle and they mix up super fast, right? If you're not gonna use them often, who cares, right? But this, I've gotta get that whole thing busted up. So I just start putting a few in my hand and you know, I have no dance moves for this yet, but, uh, but that's really the thing. So at home, that's how my tin lives now. Never used to, but I just thought it's so much easier to just pick these up and it's like probably three shakes, they would already be mixed just because it's on their side. And they don't leak out of there, so. Hey! Thank you. Some other colors? Well, I could be picky. No, I think that's good. I really wanted that. Now I'm gonna do a little switcheroo. Now this one goes in. Thanks, Mario. This one comes out, red pepper. All right. Whoop. Hey, now. So the regular inks don't have to be shaken up, right? Mix it is, they have to be shaken, but these guys, you wanna just get them kind of worked up so then you can use them, okay? Now the colors, <laughs> there are 12 very crazy colors. Uh, they were colors that just kind of inspired me to, I don't know, evoke a feeling, if you will. When I did this palette, Ranger thought I was a little on the nutty side, but I don't know, I was just, I wanted different colors, so you know, I started by looking at paint colors, and it's like I don't want like bay window, ocean view, wood floor. So you know, I'm telling you that cosmetic world, you guys got some freaky stuff there. You know, you start <laughs> you start reading nail polish and eyeshadow colors and lipstick. I'm like wild. So that was the inspiration behind these names because it's just it gave me a feel. So we have like <laughs> intrigue and deception and alchemy and villainous and splendor, kind of kind of on the Disney side even. It just was cool, <laughs> tranquil and enchanted. And that's that's what these colors started to make me feel. We have smolder, right? That's kind of like a mushroom. We have mineral, you know, envy, green with envy or sublime. That's, that's what they made me feel. So, and they're like, what's wrong with you? Where did you get this? And I'm like, it's consistent. It's consistently inconsistent. You're welcome. So what we're going to do with these is we're gonna do a background and I'll start just on a sheet of Yupo, okay? If, you have, if you're not familiar with Yupo yet, it is a synthetic paper. It is just plastic, but it's made from a company called Yupo. And the nice thing about this synthetic paper is it's really friendly with alcohol ink. You can add and subtract and blend and it does something totally different than our alcohol ink cardstock would do. You can apply these inks either with an ink applicator or we can go direct on the surface. And that's just what I'm going to do. When I work at home, and I'm working on my media map, I remove the craft map portion, okay? I don't really, but you should, because the alcohol ink will stain this. If you get alcohol inks on this, it will change it colors. It still works, but if you wanna keep this nice and clean, just take it off, and so, just for the sake of the video, I'm doing that, but mine at home is very colorful, and I like it that way. I'm okay with it. Another cool thing, if you're one of those people that want to be matchy-matchy, you can utilize this screen to your advantage. You can take off the cap and put it kind of the matching bottle and all that, but I'm not gonna do that either. Uh, but you can, I'm not gonna judge you. There's nothing wrong with that. We're gonna do a little smolder, a little mineral. Yeah, let's do some deception. See, already, you feel like you're gonna make something good. Yeah, do a little sublime, okay. Alchemy, I could open all of them. I might, I might open just a little alchemy just because. Okay, so these guys are pearls, and then we have the inks, and inks are the same thing. Now, honestly, if you're going to do a lot of alcohol inking, my advice is to stick with your colors first and then go in and add your pearls, okay? And the reason I like to do that is just because the alcohol inks are gonna do most of the work. They're gonna provide your foundation, and then you don't have to use as much of the pearls. Does that make sense? Okay, it's not a mixative though, so you can't expect just to shake it on and get that big saturation of metallic. So here we go. We're just gonna take some, I'm just gonna start by putting some color on there, okay? And I'm just shaking it. Can you apply it with an ink applicator tool and felt? Absolutely, right? We wanna go on there, we can still squeeze that color in. Can we mix it with our regular alcohol inks? Absolutely, right? We can put in any of those colors that we want. But I wanted to show you on the paper, and I don't know if your camera's gonna pick it up. Can you see the sizzle? Can you kind of see it like glistening on that paper? Do you see it where it just looks like it's just all that little sparkle, that little glitter? Maybe another color is gonna do the same. There you go, can you see it? Oh, yeah. That little celestial? Wow, yeah. That in itself is exciting. But we can go in 
we can mix this around because this is gonna work just like our regular inks do. The nice thing about alcohol ink, if you haven't worked with them before, one of the most forgiving mediums ever. So if you don't like the way something is, just add another color over the top of it. But yeah, we can see that pearl right away and what that's doing, and that's why I wanna mix it in with some ink as well. Yeah, we're getting this cool, little sparkly background. And I'm just shaking that out, and I'm just gonna also just blend that out with ink tool. Now, can we use blending solution? Of course, blending solution is going to do the same thing that it does, but what I wanna point out on this background, over here you can see that concentration of pearls. Can you see it sparkle? Over here, just more of the concentration of ink. If I take this over the top, I'm gonna to get that same reaction that I would with alcohol inks if I put it right on to my felt. I'm also gonna get kind of this new, softer color if I want. The thing about that, I like to work, personally, I like to work with larger sheets of Yupo, like this size, because once I do a background, I'm just gonna creatively edit what I like, that part that I like. Oftentimes, if I cut it down first and I know I need to make a card, it's like, I hate it, right? <laughs> it's like there's something about it that I don't like, and so by starting big, you're like, mm, okay, I'm gonna move this over here. Because it's Yupo, Yupo is also gonna replace it's color, so if you don't like the way something is, we can put something over the top of it. We can move that around. We can even take away. If you had, uh, take that paper towel. This is just a sample piece. We're gonna actually make something, I don't know, something a little bit more decent in a minute. But I can go with blending solution, and I can get rid of this, if not all of my color, if you want to, just by adding blending solution. And then we can go right back in, and we can add that color because Yupo is, again, like that creative dry erase board. Just makes for just kind of fun. So a lot of times if you're new to alcohol inks and you want to play around, Yupo is a great thing to do because we can always change it, right? We can always change our minds of what we're creating. I'm just gonna put a little blending solution on this. Let's kind of soften our background. All right, we're gonna set this aside. I'm not gonna call it done, I'm just gonna call it that I'm done. Well, almost. Okay, I'll be done. For now. Alright, 